Hello, buddy. Chuck and it's fantastic. Your body for duty. Welcome you back to more Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we explored Route 15. Had a surprise encounter with Suicune in Route 14, but it wasn't actually a battle. Went through Route 13. Didn't really battle a lot of trainers. Just went straight down here to Celadon City. And did a kind of mimic rehash of the Nugget Bridge here on Route 24 and 25 obviously by battling these um, seven trainers over here when they said that there was originally meant to be six. We beat them all and then our reward was to battle him as a surprise and then this guy went to the battle us after giving us a blinking nugget. But this time since we've made our way over to the end, if we go over to this house, as you remember being Bill's house, if we head inside. Hmm? You're here to see my grandson. His name is Bill. He's in Johto. He's doing... He does something with PCs. So I'm house-sitting. Ah, my grandson mentioned a round blue Pokemon that has leaves growing on his head. If you have that blue one, may I see it, please? Now, this is kind of like an optional side quest. Uh, he gives you an item that you could probably give your Pokemon to hold or whatever. But actually, no, no, so no, 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 it doesn't. He gives you an evolution stone specifically for the Pokemon he's asking for. The Pokemon he's asking for right here is an Oddish. And he can give you either a Leaf Stone which lets you evolve Gloom into Fire Plume, or Sunstone, which is the same thing, but Gloom into Balassum. Unfortunately, it does not count for having Pokemon in your PC. You have to have them in your party to do that. Annoying, I know. But anyway, if we go over here to the far end... Um... Weird. I... F okay. I thought something was meant to be over there at this given time, but there isn't. Okay. Strange. Am I... possibly jumping the gun here? Tell you what. We did say... Oh, sorry. My cat is in my bedroom with me and she wants to go out. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, wait, come on. There you go. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sometimes my cat can be a little bit on the stubborn side. Right, so we're going to go inside the gym. Uh, there's no trainer here. Wait, the gym leader's not here either. Wait, what? Am I really jumping the gun here? Are we not supposed to challenge the Carillion City gym yet? Hmm. Okay, I've got an alternative plan. I'm going to take Pidgey out because I do actually need Pidgey for this. And I'm going to replace him for Pinsir. Pinsir is the only Pokemon that we've not actually put down as a... Um... Replacement temporarily. Everybody else has had a turn, but not Pinsir. Right then. Now, the idea I've got is to head west of Carillion City into Route 9. There are a lot of trainers for you to battle against, so just keep those heads up in mind. Right, here you got Max Potion. Okay, not too shabby. 
Oh, I actually avoided her. I thought you had to battle her. Uh, there's a couple of trees you have to cut. Ah, uh, right. I have to battle you. Okay, at least one trainer is a must do battle thing, whatever. Alright then, use Shadow Ball. That should do the trick. Or not. Oh, and then, in case you're wondering, I did actually replace the held item for Joker of the Choice Scarf and replaced it with the Amulet Coin. That's why Gengar is in the lead currently. <laughs> Because when I was battling the trainers in Route 15, 14 off camera, I was like thinking, wait, oh god, I actually completely forgot to change Gengar's item because I used Shadow Ball and then I was like, okay, I'm going to use this move instead, which was Focus Blast, and the tech and the sensor was popped up saying, he can only use Shadow Ball, and I thought, oh. Yeah, true story actually, I'm not kidding. Uh, right then, I believe you go up the stairs, yep. Another item there that requires the cut. Alright, here we go. We go down these stairs, and we surf along here. I'm pretty sure you remember that we did this back in... Let's go, Eevee. I can honestly tell you, it was honestly fun playing Let's Go, Eevee at the time. The story was entertaining, but the online battle mode was kind of dumb. Because you had to choose out of 150 po uh, 151 Pokemon, no, 153 Pokemon... Um, because they allowed you to have a Mel 10 and a Mel Metal inside Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. But the only issue I had with it was the fact that I believe it was forcing you into doing single battles, not double. And every single team was just that predictable for both me and my opponent. Because we didn't have that many Pokemon to choose from. My god, wild encounters! Seriously, this is why we veterans of the Pokemon franchise love to put up max repels all the time. This is getting annoying. There, I'm jumping off the water immediately because water encounters are the, like... Increased encounter rates in any DS game for me. I walk around in the grass. Yes, I do get jumped on a lot, but I don't get jumped on as much as I do in the water. And yes, it happens in every DS game I play. Right, so here we go. Inside the power plant. We did get told that there was an issue involving the power plant, so let's see if we can help him out. A thief broke into the power plant. What in the world coming to? Where's the world coming to? Yeah. This power plant has been abandoned in the past. We got it back up and running to provide the power for the magnet train. That's good. The magnet train consumes a lot of electricity. It can't move if the new generator isn't operating. Oh, that's actually me. I was thinking, wait, what is that sound effect I keep hearing? It's actually me running around. I think this guy, if not the other guy, someone made off with the part that's essential for a generator. Without it, the new generator's useless. Okay, not you. Maybe I think it's you. I collect Pokemon. Do you have a Dugdrio? Do you want to trade it for my Magneton? That does sound like an interesting thing to suggest. But, I don't have a Dug Trio, unfortunately. No. You. The power plant's manager is up ahead. But since someone wrecked the generator, he's been both sad 
and at times furious. Sometimes he would burst out laughing out of desperation. We've had to go through so much. I, I, he's ready to blast something. Who would dare steal a pot from the generator? I spent so much time fixing it. If I catch him, he's going to see what I can do with my charge beam. Yeah, you had to enter the power plant, talk to the manager, and then this happens. I just got word from Carillion. It appears there's a shady character has been loitering around. Could I ask you uh, for your cooperation? The shady character was hanging around the Carillion gym. There we go. So I was jumping the gun. We had to go to the power plant first. So, flying back to Carillion City. And then enter the gym. Yep, it's a Team Rocket Grunt. Oops, I'm so sorry. You're not hurt, okay? I'm very busy. No time for talking with you. No good for me if seen by somebody. Oh no, you see me already. I make a big mistake. Hey, you. Think it you see me, okay? You seen, heard... No, nothing, okay? Bye. Bye bye, go. <laughs> yeah. And I think you have to chase after him. <sighs> Good blind, mate. If you're wondering where he went, he went up this way. Oh no! Hiding I was, but you did! Me found it me in no time! The only one from other country! Yet, no big business, okay? I think I did if stop the energy. Be big panic and unlikely for here people. Stick with it is my mission, I so I tell you I not. He sounds like he's originally from Japan. Kind of does. I mean, like the way how he speaks. It's like say, me do this. I, I cause havoc to your to, to your town or whatever. I, I don't even know. I'm not a good mimicker, nor do I ever tend to be. Yeah, this is the final T Rocket Grunt you ever get to battle against in the entire game. You just battle him with his one and only Pokemon being a level 39 Golbat. Which surprisingly survived a Shadow Ball. But it's not going to survive this one. There we go. No, no, I believe I got. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Nobody really cares. Okay, tell your mind secret I will. Machine pot, steal by me. Hide it. I did in, Kareli in Jim McCarillion. <laughs> See what I mean about him being in Japanese? Nia, inflatable tube. I put it, put it, I did. Look for Jim at. But you forget me not. Beat you for sure, will Team Rocket. Come from Johto, will they? Mine al allies. Yeah, 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 yeah. You say what? Team Rocket, bye bye, go go. Broken up, it says you. Oh no. Should I do what now for on now off? <laughs> See what I mean? It's so hard to do this with a straight face. It really is. So there you go, he's run off. He's been told the news about Team Rocket being disbanded for good this time. So now we go back inside the gym. And you have to observe these inflatable tubes. Because one of them holds what you're looking for, which is this one. You picked up the black item that was by the pool. It's apart from the machine. So now we found that, we can take that back to the power plant.
And yes, that does mean having to do a long trek back. Uh, whoop, going the wrong way. I seem to be doing that a lot. I should be knowing Kanto by now. Oh, well, no, 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 not down that way. Up down this way. Just in case she's a spinner. And this time, I am going to put repels up. Because I get so annoyed about being jumped on by a Pokemon in the water every three steps. There we go. Back up to the power plant and we'll hand, down, hand in the machine part. Yeah, the thing you have. Is that the part of the, that was stolen from my beloved generator? You found it. Thank you so much. Now all I have to do is attach this part here. Yep, it's running. Here you go. Take this TM as a reward. We obtained the exact move he said he was going to use to find out whoever the, was the culprit that stole the machine part. TM57... Charge beam. You know what the move does? So I don't really need to go into full detail about it. And now that the machine part is back up and running, let's fly back to Carillion City again and go back up to where we went at the beginning of the episode to see if they're actually there. I'm going to put Pidgey back in the PC for Pinsir. There we go. Um, actually, I think I'm going to take... Oh, it's the looking sensor. I actually had that one going on. Never mind. I'm going to put Tyra in the lead specifically for this. Reason why, you will find out soon enough. That is if I don't keep bumping into the trees. Okay, repels the all off. Doesn't really matter because I'm not running around in the grass. Right, there we go. I keep bumping into trees again. And we're at the end. There we go. These two were not here when we went here last time. Ah, why did you have to show up and bug us now? Do you know what they call people like you? Pests. You heard me right, pest. Oh, those badges you have, are they Shoto Gym badges? If you have eight, you must be good. Okay then, come to Carillion Gym. I'll be happy to take you on. I'm Misty, the gym leader of in Carillion. Yeah, I kind of found that bit very weird. About the fact that... Okay, if she sat there with a guy... The guy doesn't even have any dialogue, so you have no idea who he is... And then we just get called a pest because he runs off away from Misty when he's been spotted by us. Weird, I know. But before we actually do challenge the gym leader, I'm going to go inside these houses because I've been meaning to do that and I haven't done yet. Are you collecting Kento gym badges? Yes, I am. That was a good start. Right, this house... There's a notice here. Stamp out thievery and make the city a friendly and more cheerful place. Carillion Poli- This is the police office?! Looks more like a housing estate! Also, if this is the police office, why is there a fisherman here? I heard that some shady character is shulking about. I won't stand for it if he turns out to be a thief. Don't worry, he's already been sorted. We were held up by robbers before- Right, okay. 
Oh, right, yeah, this is the house where we actually got that TM for Thief in Let's Go Eevee, of course. Uh, this house next door to the Pokemon Center. Got a Kangaskhan and a Suba here. My husband lives happily where the Pokemon he's got food trades. I live happily here, such as... So, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice to hear that you're so happy, everyone. That's actually really nice to hear. Um, over here we've got... Trendsetter of the Bicycle Room. Carillion Bike Main Shop. We've already got a bike, so... Don't have to waste our time with that. And but yeah, that's actually every single house we can enter really. Nothing else stopping us now but to challenge the Carillion City Gym. See you guys then.